When I was in the Florida Keys trying for a big barracuda, one of the problems was the fact that barracuda are sight predators. They've got very good eyesight. So you've got to use something that's uh, almost invisible in the water, but because it's thin, it's not very strong. And uh, this was one of the lures that I used. Now, I've just said barracuda have good eyesight. How on earth can anything mistake that for a fish? Well, the, the secret is you cast that out, and the moment it hits the water, you start retrieving. And it's the movement that attracts the barracuda, and it will come in and, and it will hammer this. Don't slow down if you see a barracuda homing in on it. Uh, that is not what a, a prey fish does. A prey fish will put on a, a burst of speed and the barracuda will catch it. Um, but if you let that lie stationary in the water, they're just going to clock that it's a piece of rubber. Oh, good grief, that was a big one. Now, what people said was that the big ones, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be in deeper water, near structure, in particularly wrecks. Now, the thing about wrecks is a wreck contains lots of sharp metal light tackle and wrecks don't really go together. So what was I going to do? So I dived on this wreck and sure enough, there are the big barracuda and they're right tight to the wreck. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw something and it turned out to be this big squadron of sizable barracuda and they were up in mid water and they were off to one side of the wreck. So I came back in the fishing boat and we anchored some way off to the side of the wreck. The idea being that we'd intercept uh, a group of barracuda and there would be enough distance between me and the wreck to stop fish reaching the sanctuary of all that sharp metal. Although I did have some very anxious moments before I got my biggest one in, it did actually work. So that is the story of how I succeeded in catching my target fish from the Florida Keys.